discuss about depression in freezing point. The concept here is almost uh, the same way that we discussed it for uh, elevation in boiling point. When it comes to the definition of uh, depression in freezing point, delta Tf is defined as the temperature at which first of all freezing point freezing point is defined as the temperature at which the solid and liquid are in equilibrium solid liquid equilibrium that is what we call freezing point. Now, in a solution or for a solution the freezing point is in a solution the freezing point is the temperature at which the temperature at which the vapor pressure of solution becomes equal to vapor pressure of pure solvent vapor pressure of solution equal to vapor pressure of solvent the freezing point is the temperature at which vapor pressure of solution becomes equal to vapor pressure of pure solvent so here what happens is that uh, for a solution the vapor pressure to become equal to vapor pressure of pure solvent means already in the vapor pressure what we told is when you add a non volatile solute vapor pressure increases solution vapor pressure is more than solvent vapor pressure now solution vapor pressure has to lowered has to decrease has to depress to vapor pressure of the pure solvent so that means what what you have to do is for a solution its vapor pressure to decrease to that of pure solvent what we have to do is we have to decrease its temperature because with the decrease in temperature vapor pressure decreases so you have to decrease the temperature to whatever the temperature you have decreased the solution so that its vapor pressure becomes equal to vapor pressure of pure solvent the temperature is nothing but what we call freezing point of solution for example vapor pressure of solution so here what i am writing is vapor pressure of solution is more than vapor pressure of pure solvent at same temperature therefore to decrease to equalize to equalize the vapor pressure of solution and solvent the temperature of solution should be decreased that is that decrease is what we call it as depression in freezing point delta tf right so in the case of water in the case of water as all of us know very well that for pure water tf not is equal to 0 degree celsius that is 273 Kelvin. On adding non volatile solute 
like urea or ethylene glycol what will happen is its freezing point decreases the decrease is what we call delta tf depression in freezing point of water water being the pure solvent that is what we call delta tf this delta tf relation to concentration again we see with respect to graph like in the case of elevation in boiling point with the help of a graph the way that we explained that delta tb is proportional to molality same way again here we get the relation that delta tf is also proportional to molality delta tf is also proportional to molality that in the graph we see now the way in which we discussed about the elevation in boiling point for a solution compared to that of uh, pure solvent in the similar fashion graphically also we can explain the depression in freezing point for a solution compared to that of pure solvent as you can see over here these are as usual of course this is a curve that is drawn for vapor pressure versus temperature for a pure solvent this is for solution 1 this is for solution 2 again the solution 1 is more less concentrated than the solution 2 now as you can see that the solvent freezing point is this is a freezing point tf not is more than the solution freezing point this is a freezing point of the pure solvent this is a freezing point of the solution 1 this is the freezing point of the solution 2 so as you can see from the graph that tf double dash is less than tf dash is less than tf not so again mathematically if you go the ratio of ab to ad that is nothing but p not minus p dash or p dash minus p not whatever you take that doesn't make any difference is by p not minus p double dash is equal to tf not minus tf dash divided by tf not minus tf double dash that is change in vapor pressure for solution 1 by change in vapor pressure for solution 2 is equal to change in freezing point for solution 1 by change in freezing point for solution 2. So, uh, this in turn is again that decrease in vapor pressure is proportional to change in its vapor pressure from solvent to solution and as in the case of uh, elevation in boiling point for the same uh, similar kind of relation we wrote the delta tb is proportional to molality there so exactly again the same thing now we can write that delta tf is proportional to molality delta tf is equal to kf into molality in the case of uh, elevation in boiling point we wrote the equation as delta tf is equal to delta tb is equal to kb into molality now we are writing for the freezing point depression as delta tf is equal to kf into molality now what we can call this kf kf is molal depression constant for boiling point we call it as molal elevation because there it is elevated now it is decreased depressed so we call it as molal depression constant or cryoscopic constant cryoscopy means lower temperature any study that makes that we make at lower temperature is what we call cryoscopic study now this is being decrease in temperature so we call this more specifically as cryoscopic constant about this cryoscopic constant and its applications of elevator depression and freezing point now we discuss now so depression and freezing point delta tf is equal to kf into molality where kf is what we are calling it as molal depression constant or cryoscopic constant the unit for this is again kelvin kg per mole is the unit and this kf is equal to rtf square by 1000 lf 
this a, again expression is exactly similar to what we wrote for k b in the case of boiling points, where T f is freezing point of pure solvent, L f is latent heat of vaporization and of course, R is gas constant and this in turn again R T f square into m by 1000 delta h f, where delta h f is enthalpy of vaporization, enthalpy latent heat of sorry this is not vaporization that is vaporization in the case of boiling this is latent heat of fusion and similarly here it is enthalpy of fusion delta h f and uh, this m is molecular weight of this is molecular weight of solvent. If it is water the molecular weight is 18 that all if you substitute you will get k for pure water is 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. Now, like we discussed the on some simple applications for elevation in boiling point in the pressure cooker case. Where do we use this depression in freezing point? The depression in freezing point case we use especially in the cold atmosphere, cold countries, cold regions as in the morning every day morning there will be a lot of uh, ice that gets accumulated on the roads in the US nowadays especially we are getting a regular news that lot of uh, ice is getting uh, dumped because of the freezing low very low temperatures it gets it will block the road traffic and all and even in our country sometimes we see in the Kashmir and Himachal regions where there is a when whenever there is a snowfall. Due to snowfall the roads will get blocked, transport is completely blocked as a result day to day activity gets disturbed. So, is the reason that in those areas for easy melting of that snow in the morning loads of salts will be distributed and will be poured on that snow. So, that the freezing point of that snow will get decrease and uh, your snow will get melt easily into water. So, the water will get easily drained up and blockade can be removed. This is a very direct and simple application of depression in freezing point whenever a non volatile solute added. So, there when you are adding a salt loads of salt will be brought and the bags will be given to the public and they are asked to just put it on the snow. So, as a result whenever when you add salt that is nothing but you are adding a solute non volatile solute as a result the melting point decreases and so at that particular temperature as it freezing point is further decreased. So, at that higher now it becomes higher temperature that snow will start melting. So, this is the direct application of the depression in freezing point and also using this what we can determine is the amount of ice formed also we can calculate that while doing the numericals we take that example and also we solve how much is the ice that will be separated out from a solution at a particular temperature easily we can calculate. Now, after this still we have another colligative property to discuss that is osmotic pressure. So, next we go to osmotic pressure.